Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a buy it or pass it for you guys. I actually felt like I haven't done one of these in quite some time, so I'm really excited to go through all these new products with you and just kind of discuss them. This video was of course inspired by Samantha March. She does have a creator playlist for people who do these type of videos, so I'll have that listed down below. If you like these type of videos, you can definitely check out other people. Um, also, I get my info from Trend Mood and also Makeup News Hunters, so I will have their uh, Instagram link down below for you guys. Before we get started, if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. I normally post videos every Monday and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I will have those all linked down below for you. This is the very last week uh, to enter my giveaway, so if you have not done that already, please go ahead and follow this link right up here. It'll take you to my giveaway video. So let's go ahead and jump right in. As always, I will be, I'm gonna scoot over. <laughs> As always, I will show you a picture of the product right here so you guys can kind of see what I am talking about. So the first item that we are going to talk about is from Kat Von D. It is the Lolita palette. This is going to be launching December 10th, which when this video goes up should be today. Um, it comes with nine beautifully matte Lolita Dusty Rose inspired eyeshadows. Okay, first of all, with as many palettes as I have or as the type of palettes I have, I have all of these shades. So nothing is appealing to my eye when I look at the shades in this palette. Um, I'm kind of over the Lolita vibe. I know she has the lipstick, which I love. Um, she has like, a, I think she did like a blush and now it's a palette and just, I'm kind of over it. So this is something I'm definitely going to be passing on. Um, even when I first saw it, I did not do a double take. I was just kind of like, oh, okay, good for her. So nothing special about this palette. So definitely a pass. All right, so Huda Beauty has announced a new product. Uh, it is the Melted Shadows, the Matte and Metal Collection. It looks like there's going to be five different ones. Um, it's a dual-ended bottle with two different formulas. At one end is a richly pigmented velvety matte shade, and at the other is a glittering glitter formula and a stunning complementary shade. Hmm. It says that the matte formula dries to a waterproof powder finish, which has oil absorbing properties so it stays in a place without fading or creasing for 12 hours. The doe foot applicator makes application easy while it's also defined edge so you can use it as a liner too. Of course we all know how glitter shades work so I'm not gonna really um, go in the description of that. It says it's gonna be available December 26th for $25 a piece. Um. <laughs> this is kind of interesting okay i i get the whole you know eyeshadow glitter eyeshadow shimmery eyeshadow whatever um in a bottle you know i have a couple myself they're beautiful um not the easiest to work with depending on what brand you get i don't know how i feel about a matte eyeshadow out of a bottle that's just kind of weird to me is that not weird to you or am I just like, what? <laughs> so it dries to a powder formula. So what, you put it on your eye and then you spread it around with a brush. That's just, I don't know. I don't know if I get the concept behind that. I mean, it kind of was definitely attention grabbing when I was like, wait, what? She's coming out with what? Um, I just don't know if it's gonna be practical. They're kind of pricey anyway, $25. Uh, basically, you have to think about it like you're getting two shadows for $25. So this is a pass. I cannot wait to see people try this out. I think it's going to be kind of funny, um, but it's just not for me. So Fenty Beauty is releasing a new gloss bomb. Yay! I love that she is starting to come out with new shades. Um, I have the original. It is beautiful. It is my ultimate favorite lip gloss of like all time <laughs> the color the formula it is just so perfect so, so to see that she's kind of expanding the shades um i mean it's only two but it, it makes me happy inside so she released like a pearl one which really wasn't for me um this one i'm definitely kind of interested in it's got like a pink vibe to it so the name of the new shade is fussy 
<laughs> I like that. So I probably will more than likely be picking this up. Um, like I said, I love the formula. Okay, so ColourPop, of course, ColourPop has a new release. I'm pretty sure every time I do one of these videos, ColourPop is in the video. Like there's no doubt. They release after release after release, and it's just so overwhelming. ColourPop, take a break. <laughs> But they did do another collaboration. This is with I Am Becky G. Maybe I'm just so old, I don't know who that is or whatever, but the collection looks really, really pretty, but it's stuff that I have. And since I really don't know who the person is, I can't say that I would buy it to, just to support that person. Like if it's Kathleen Lights, I'm all over it. Whether I like it or not, I'm gonna buy it because I love her. Um, I am Becky G, don't know who that is, so I can't buy to support. Um, and I'm definitely not interested in the collection itself. But let me go ahead and give you a quick rundown. It's a Luster Dust Highlighter for $7 each. Looks like there's two different colors. A Ultra Matte Liquid Lip for $6.50 each. And there are two shades for the Ultra Satin Liquid Lipsticks, which are $6.50 a piece. Um, she also has the Eyeshadow Palette for $18. Like I said, the eyeshadow palette, I mean, it looks pretty, but it looks like every other ColourPop palette that I have. So I'll be passing on this collection. All right, so Jeffree Star has a new highlighter palette. Um, I think he also came out with some makeup bags, but the highlighter palette is called Northern Lights, which I really, really like the idea behind it. It is inspired by the Northern Lights in what, Alaska? Um, I think that's really cool. It's actually on my bucket list. I really want to go see the Northern Lights, like bad, like bad, bad. <laughs> um, so this is a new palette. It includes six new shades. Four are really glittery and metallic and two are more like toppers. And the palette retails for $54. I mean, I've heard such good things about his brand. Like his products are just so good. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be the one to reel me in and make me purchase from him. I like the inspiration behind this. The packaging looks a little bulky to me, but when I think about wanting to try a Jeffree Star product, the item I am looking for for him to come out with and being like, yes, I need that, is gonna be an eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow palettes are my love. I'm kind of overbooked in the highlighter department, so I'm going to be passing on this, but I watched his video. I watched his swatches. They look gorgeous. Um, but this just isn't the one for me. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe in the future. But Glam Light is coming out with a new palette. I don't know if I've heard of this company before. Um, but <laughs> this palette is so gimmicky, you guys. This is the Glam Light Pizza Palette. It says on there, 18 delicious toppings. I, <laughs> okay, I love pizza. I love pizza. We, we do homemade pizza, we order out. Like pizza is awesome. I just don't know if I want a, I don't think I want a pizza palette. I just don't think I want a pizza palette. Um, this just looks really, really gimmicky to me. And I'm not down for that. Um, this is coming December 12th and there are 18 new shades inside so I don't know let me know what you guys think about this I think this is just so odd it is it's just kind of odd to me but uh, yeah I'd love to hear all your take is this something that you would definitely purchase because you love pizza and you just think this is so cool or, or do you think it's gimmicky um, but Bottom line, it's a pass. All right, so Manny MUA has come out with a whole collection. It is the Greek Goddess Collection. Uh, he came out with a eyeshadow palette, a highlighter palette, and three lippies. Now, the box itself, it says Greek Goddess. I really like the writing on that, the snake. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, and then you open it up, and I'm not really too fond of the packaging. Um, the whole Medusa on there, I, something's just off about it when I look at it. And it could be just me, but... Uh, wasn't really intrigued by it. Now, when you open it up and you look at the eyeshadows, my very first thought was, oh, that looks like a ColourPop palette. <laughs> that was my very first thought. Um, if you 
collect eyeshadow palettes like I do. These are nothing new. These are all shades that you've seen before. So even the arrangement kind of feels like a ColourPop palette to me. Um, the highlighter palette I don't need. I have so many highlighters I am trying to get through. Um, the lippies, eh, I don't know. I'm just not really feeling anything about this collection. I do like the fact that he went with something completely different for the holidays. It just feels a little off mark and maybe it's the whole Medusa thing throwing me off. Maybe I would have liked Aphrodite or something like that. I don't know. The eyeshadow palette goes for $48. It is 15 different eyeshadows. Um, the, high, the highlighter palette is $42. The lip gloss is $17 and the liquid lipsticks is $18 a piece. I pay $48 for an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, but I know their quality. I don't know if I would necessarily jump in for a palette by Manny Umiwe that I don't know how it's going to be with no return policy like Sephora for $48. <laughs> yeah, that's a pass. Whole pass. I passed the whole collection. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, she released kind of like a vault. It came white, like with this little drawer case. It was so cute. Oh my gosh, it was but it was gonna be released on Black Friday. Something happened, um, like it released a little bit early, so she's actually gonna bring it back in January. Now, I think the idea behind this is amazing. The price is amazing. Okay, um, it's valued at $168 and you can get the Volt for $90. Now this um, entails the Prism Palette, the Modern Renaissance, the Soft Glam, and the Subculture. Okay, I love the Soft Glam, I love the Modern Renaissance. The Subculture was okay, the Prism, I have it, I don't use it, but this vault is kind of useless to me. It really is. Um, I think it would make an excellent present, but I already have these palettes. So this is something that I absolutely don't need. I have these palettes. They are not running out. They are in good shape. I have not hit pan yet. So this is not something that I'm going to need. This is not something that I'm going to want because why would I purchase the palette again if I'm not even hitting pan on the ones that I have? I do have a lot of palettes I need to rotate through. I got an idea coming up, side note. Um, <laughs> however, I think it would have been smarter to just release the box. A lot of people just wanted to buy the box, including myself. Like, I think that's really, really pretty. It says Anastasia on the top. It's got the four different drawers. Um, if they can fit a palette, I could probably like put my lip lippies inside of it. I just think it would be so cute. And I definitely would have been interested in something like that but if this is something that you wanted she is bringing it back like I said in January she hasn't got a set date yet but she will more than likely let everybody know um, before the date happens all right guys so that is it for this video thank you so much for tuning in if you did like it please give it a big old thumbs up for me and I'll see you guys next time bye